Hello, I'm going to show you how to do an XP staple fastener install using the XP manual applicator tool. First, we're going to measure the belt thickness. If skiving, always measure the belt thickness after skiving. Using the XP fastener gauge, we're going to select the correct fastener for the belt thickness. Here, it's showing an XP5L, so we're going to choose an XP5L fastener. Next, we're going to determine how many fastener strips we need for the belt width. We're going to lay our fastener strips across the belt, making sure we have approximately 38 millimeter from the edge of the belt to the beginning of the first fastener strip. And then measuring on the other side. If needed, we'll go ahead and break off a shorter fastener strip for that belt width. Take your XP fastener strips and load them into the XP bed, centering it on the XP bed. If using XP lock, we're going to start from the right side of the bed. We're going to insert the fastener strips into the H holes. If the fastener strip fits tight, go ahead and grab a piece of scrap belt or a rubber hammer and hit the fastener strips down fully against the bed, loading the, the full strips first and any partial strips at the end. Then we're going to load the belt all the way against the belt stops, making sure we're centered from the edges of the belt to the edges of the fasteners. And then we're going to tighten the clamp bar fully against the belt, making sure we have even pressure with the clamp bar. To set the tool for the right belt thickness, we're going to adjust the belt thickness gauge using a piece of scrap belt or the actual belt from the conveyor. Since we're installing an XP5 fastener, we're going to set it on the side for XP3, XP5. We're going to loosen the lock knob, bring in your belt, and we're going to adjust it down against that belt without over tightening it. And then we're going to lock that lock handle back into place. To load the tool onto the frame, we're going to make sure the handle's in the lock position, and we're going to line the mounting brackets to the bed. To freely slide the tool on the bed, we're going to disengage the advance mechanism and engage the locking tab. And to re-engage the advance mechanism, we'll lower the handle, which will lower the locking tab and re-engage the advance mechanism. And that allows the tool to advance. The XP manual tool has some unique features. First, after loading the tool on the frame, we want to adjust the support block so it's fully up against the frame. To do this, we're going to loosen the bolt and position that wedge all the way forward against the frame, and then we'll retighten that. The handle can be adjusted for different heights. To do that, we're going to loosen the red handles and we'll adjust it to the height that we prefer. And also, we can take it out and flip it over for a different angle depending on what type of environment you're working in. And that'll offer a different reach um, for the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it back into position. And then I'm going to tighten the red handles again. To unlock the handle so we can advance the tool, first we're going to push the handle forward, and then we're going to take the locking knob, pull it out, and turn it a quarter of a turn, and that allows the tool, the handle, to become unlocked. 
and we could advance the tool. There's two ways of advancing the tool. We can do a quick advance, or we can do a full advance, which is what we'd want to do during the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and advance the tool over that first plate, and then we can go ahead with the installation. Making sure that we go all the way down into that locking position and all the way up so it advances. The first belt end is now complete and we'll repeat the same steps for the second belt end. Now that the installation of fasteners has been completed on both belt ends, we've gone ahead and notched the trailing edge of one belt end. We're going to bring the belt ends together, making sure the plates line up, and we're going to insert the hinge pin. Make sure you use your hinge pin retaining collars to prevent migration of the hinge pin. And that's how you do an XP staple fastener installation using the XP manual applicator tool.